Hey, what's up guys? This is Almond Milk and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a recap of my birthday trip. I had so much fun. It was four days of like craziness and yeah, so I'm going to go down the list. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm a little sick, sorry. That was part of the trip too. Um, so I started with Orlando and ended in Miami. So on Thursday, the first day we landed in Orlando, super cool. The weather was kind of like, mm, it was kind of rainy. That was the only downfall I think about, well, not the only downfall. There was like a few crazy things, but that was one of the downfalls of the trip was the weather. It just was very rainy and you know, it's Florida. I'm guessing it was the rainy season. So it was just raining off and on. So Thursday is the first day. We stayed at this really nice hotel. Went to go see Alien Romulus. I'm such a huge fan of the Alien vs. Predators like series and sci-fi. Dinner, I had the best lobster taglatel. Taglatelli? Taglatel? It was really good. This lobster pasta. I'm gonna go ahead and insert um, a photo right there and a video because it was insane they just have the lobster down the middle they like cut all the meat out so you can like pick through it the pasta was on the side I had like a delicious tomatoey sauce like it just it, it just really blew my mind because it was so good and i was craving a lobster pasta and it just it was just great it was just great and then after that went back to the hotel and we chilled because it started raining we got drinks we kind of walked around a little bit not much you could do when it's raining so and we were in like the city of orlando like downtown orlando so there's really not much to do there either that was another thing i think we should have did a little bit more research of where the hotel was because there really was not much to do and there i'll give it that there were a lot of like clubs and bars but they were kind of sketchy like we were walking around we went to a liquor store because every single time we go on a trip, we always get like a bottle. So we drink it in the room, save money. But it was very sketchy. Like the people there were kind of like weird. I don't know. It was not really given like we were going to go out and have like a good time. Today, the next day, the last day in Orlando, we went to Disney World. It was so fun. I had been waiting to go to Disney World for the longest time. I've been so many times since I was young. Um, I just wanted to go. What's funny is I wanted to do the drink around the world trend on TikTok, but... I went to Disney World and we went to Magic Kingdom and we went to Epcot. So I'll start with Magic Kingdom. We went there, we saw the whole like performance that they do like every like 30, like 45 minutes. We're getting ready for Halloween and I had always wanted to go to Disney World for Halloween so I could see the Halloween decorations and stuff like that. The only thing I didn't see was the big Mickey Mouse pumpkin. I wanted to take a picture next to that but they didn't have it out yet so. But there was other like decorations and stuff like that. It was extremely hot. There was a lot of people there. There was a lot of kids, which is expected because it's Magic Kingdom. That's, you know, all the kids are really at Magic Kingdom. I got some ears. I got the pumpkin Mickey Mouse ears and I had got the Sully uh, from Monsters Inc. ears. I was like dying for those because they were so cute. I was going to every single kiosk. I'm like, where can I find these? Where can I find these? Where can I find these? This one girl, she literally told me she was like, oh, they've been sold out for like six months. And I'm just looking at her, I'm just like, what? Are you serious? Six months? Man. So when we went to Epcot, I literally found them. I literally found them in like one of the big stores. I'm like, girl, you lied. Anyway, we went to Magic Kingdom and we took a lot of pictures, took a lot of videos to Epcot. So now, okay, let me get back to what I was saying before. So for Epcot, I wanted to do the drinking around the world trend on TikTok. So I was under the impression, this was one of the downfalls of the trip. I was under the impression that it was a thing that you did at Epcot. Cause like Epcot, there's all the different countries and they sell alcohol. So you can drink different cocktails from around the world, like different variations of their specific country style of cocktail. And it wasn't like a, a Disney thing. It was something that you kind of just made up yourself. I thought, I, I watched a TikTok and I saw that they had a fake tattoo. Come to find out, you had to buy the tattoo on Etsy. Man, I was about to do a TikTok. I was about to do a reel. I was about to do a take. I was about to do everything until I figured out you had to buy it off Etsy. Bro, I was so blown. Like, I was so excited. I wanted to take a picture of the drink around the world with all the different countries on it. And I could just check off with a Sharpie. I couldn't even do it. Let alone that, all the drinks there, now it's Disney World. So I already expected the drinks not to be cheap, but like drinks were like $15 everywhere. And it's just like, all the countries, it was, it was Japan, it was Canada, it was, what was it, China? No, it was, um, it just was all these countries and it's just like, 
times all that by 15. Yeah, I should have came with like a little separate budget, but it's okay because we're gonna go back. We're gonna go back and now I know what to do. I'm prepared for the future, so I know what to do for the next time, but yeah, that was kind of a, that was kind of a bummer, but I went to Japan and I bought some stuff and um, that was really fun because I wanted to go to the Japanese store there specifically because they had a lot of cool things. So um, I'll do a little haul at the end with that. So that was Friday. That was just Disney all day. Then we came back, showered up, rested a little bit, and then we went to the pool and stayed by the pool and got drinks and stuff. They're doing a happy hour at the pool. And when I tell you six dollar drinks like you can't you can't even get a six dollar drink anywhere anymore those don't even exist so we were just drinking so that was friday and so saturday morning we flew into miami and miami i was so amped i was so let us okay orlando was its own thing uh miami we're staying at a really nice hotel we're staying at the set that was like a five star hotel it was it was crazy it was great it was actually kind of small, but when you walked in there, it, it was very big. It was very, very, very nice. When I tell you, the customer service was immaculate. You could ask for anything. They will pull it out of their ass and fi find a way to get you what you want. Like, that's the kind of service I want. I feel like I've been spoiled now. I don't want to go anywhere else less than a five-star hotel with that kind of service because it was, honestly, it was amazing. It was great. So we got there. We got to our room. Our room was like, it was insane. Like the way everything was laid out, it was crazy. Like there was a, um, there was like a panel where you can like fix the shades. The shades will go up and down the lights everywhere. It was like really cool. And like, you got like free stuff as well too. And um, yeah, so we got there, we got breakfast. The buffet, the breakfast buffet was like, it was, it was really good. The food was very high quality. It was, it was amazing. The the eating area, which is which was one of the restaurants called the Jaya. That's where we went for dinner that night. It was like, it, it was it was it was amazing. I'm gonna have to insert a video and photos here on the side. It was open. The ceiling can open up, but they kept it closed during the day. But at night they opened it for dinner and stuff like that. And there was like a little water, like a water pool with like rocks in it. It was like really pretty. It was it was really nice. I'm gonna show you guys pictures and videos and stuff like that. It was it was crazy. So that being said, so that was the first day we went to the beach and we sat on one of the little like villa chairs and I got the, I'm going to insert a picture, um, the Satai Miami Hotel coconut. I had a delicious coconut drink. It was so good. It was crazy. I always wanted to take a picture with that coconut in my hand, as you guys can see. Um, so yeah, that was great. It was super duper hot, but then it started raining while we were out there. So we had to run back inside. When I tell you the rain just was raining on the parade, man. It just was rain, 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 rain. But after that, we went back inside, freshened up and stuff like that. And then we got ready for dinner. Um, we had reservations for the Jaya, which was basically where we were eating breakfast at, at the beginning. And the Jaya, oh my gosh, it was insane. I already looked up what I wanted on the menu. I had this delicious, um, I think it was like a chili spice martini, a passion, um, a chili passion martini. It was great, it had a little chili on it. I'm gonna show you guys pictures on the side. And then I had some pad thai, and I also had some um, salmon sashimi. Really good. The food was amazing. But let's get into the entertainment, though. There was literally entertainment. There was dancers. There was two dancers. There was one on one side, one on the other side. I'm going to show video as well, too. And one of the dancers on our side, she was like an acrobat. So she was doing like acrobatic stuff and stuff like that. It was crazy. The entertainment was amazing. Everybody was clapping for her. She did so well. But then it's like, I think they, they perform like every like 40, 30 to 45 minutes. So they would like switch. So who we didn't see on that side is coming to our side and vice versa. And it was crazy. The music, there was a DJ. There was a live DJ playing while we were eating. The music was crazy. It just was good vibes all around. And then somebody got proposed to. I was like, oh my God, she got proposed to. And then everybody was clapping. Like, it was just, it was really good vibes that night. Like, it was good. I was like, congratulations, girl. She's a wife now. It was like, it was so nice. It was so nice. And then uh, we were going to go out. So we were going to go to this place that um, I had went to the last time I went to Miami. And we were going to get ready to go. But we were so tired. Okay. Do not do an all-nighter before your trip. Because that's what we did to make sure we got to, um 
you know, the airport and stuff like that into our flight on time. And when I tell you, we were tired the whole time. We were tired the whole trip. It was just so hard to like stay awake and stay alive. Like we were going to go out after we went out for dinner and we just ended up sleeping and staying in because we were just tired and we wanted to wake up early the next day. So we just slept in, unfortunately, but it was crazy because I ended up getting sick on the last day. So I couldn't even go out that day. So we should have went out the other day, but we were tired. We were just very tired, but it's okay. Cause you know what? We're going to, we're going to come back and we've decided to do, we sh what we should have did was we should have did Miami first and then Orlando afterwards. But you know, it's learning experience. It was whatever. And so for Sunday, the, um, the, the second day we uh woke up at like 6 a.m to go take photos on the beach that was really nice we saw the um sunrise and it was really pretty we took some really good pictures i had this really cute swimsuit on that i had on only for my boyfriend so yeah and then i took pictures in like other uh another swimsuit as well too and then um i did beach yoga i did yoga on the beach early in the morning it was really nice the yoga instructor, he was really cool. Like, he was very zen, and he was awesome. And um, funny story. So, like I said, this was like a five-star hotel, right? So, there's, like, people there who had to be in, like, the top 1%. Like, th this hotel was expensive. I'm not trying to, like, you know, boast or anything like that. But, like, we were around a lot of people who had, like, a lot of money. So, funny story. Um, while I was doing the yoga session... Um, I met this girl, she was a uh, Russian and she wanted to do yoga in the morning the next day, but I mean, I was leaving the next day, so I couldn't even do it anyway, but she came up to me, funny, funny story. She came up to me and she was like, oh, she, um, do you want to hire the yoga instructor together and we could just go, we could do it tomorrow early in the morning. I'm an early bird. We can hire him together and we could do another session. I'm just looking at her. I'm just like, hire him. <laughs> I was like, girl, wow, how much money do you think I have? Like, that's who I was around. Like, people with money, just, they, they just, money solves, money will get them through the door, anything that they want. Like, she literally kept talking to the instructor, and the instructor was telling her, like, hey, you know, I can't even do it tomorrow morning because I have a class um, at this time, and I have to go open up for the studio. And she's like, oh, well it's okay, I'll just pay you extra and you can come at like 6 a.m. or something like that. I'm just looking at her, I'm just like, girl, what? And then she, she wants me to hire him as well too? I don't got money like that, not yet. So that I thought that was funny. I thought that was like a funny, like cute little like thing. It was really definitely an eye opener to, you know, that hotel like really made me and my boyfriend, we were just like, wow, like this is where you come where when, you know, you've, made it I guess I don't know it was a surreal feeling but I enjoyed myself nonetheless it was really nice it was a really good experience to have um I definitely recommend people you know if you have the means to experience something nice experience something luxury like it doesn't have to be in every every vacation kind of thing it could be like a once a year kind of thing like just something to experience something you know something nice so that was a really good experience and um yeah after that we stayed at the pool all day, had poolside service, eating grapes, getting drinks. Like, I was at the pool chilling. The only thing about the pool was, I understand, like, you know, it's a family hotel as well, too. It was the kids. Oh, my God. There was this one baby that just did not stop screaming. She was screaming the whole time we were at the pool. Her parents didn't take her upstairs, whoop her, nothing. I'm sorry. I'm not saying that you need to whoop your kids all the time, but it's just like, girl, she was screaming the whole time. Like, it just was, it was, if the baby wasn't there screaming, like, I would have enjoyed myself a little bit more, but hey, you know what? They paid for the hotel to stay there too, so I can't really complain too much. Um, yeah, so after that, my throat was feeling scratchy. Like, it was very, very scratchy, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm getting sick. And what's funny was, the hotel, everybody, not, not, I'm sorry, not the hotel, at the airports, everybody was coughing. Like, everybody was coughing, nobody had a mask on, no one was covering their mouths. It just was really gross. And we were on the flight, when we were on the flight to Miami, there was, like, these kids that were coughing the whole flight. It just was really gross. Like, 
you can before covid you just didn't realize how gross people were like people just do not cover their mouth they don't they don't do nothing like it's just it's really crazy but yeah my voice my um throat was getting a little itchy and scratchy and i was just trying to like keep it more uh moist and i went to cvs and got medicine and stuff like that so that's how the end of my trip went and i will have to say the Setsai has a really, really good lemon lemongrass tea. It's like when you first get there, they give you an ice towel and, and some complimentary lemongrass tea with lime. Oh my God, when I tell you I was downing that tea the whole trip, especially when my throat was hurting, I was drinking that tea like back to back to back. It was so good. It was so good. I love that. You get there, you check in, they give you free stuff, like they're just offering you free stuff. It was it was great. It was really a really good experience. But then Monday morning we left back home early in the morning and then we came back and yeah. That's how my birthday trip went. It was interesting. It was a learning experience. And also another downside was we didn't really have content planned out because we didn't really know like how to navigate everything. But now that we see how everything works and when we go back, we'll know like what to do because we were going to take all kinds of content in Disney, but we read the rules and they're saying you can't take professional cameras or you can't take big cameras. But we saw people with maybe not professional cameras, but like big cameras. So we could have took better pictures. So now we know for the next time that that's what we're going to do. So yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for listening, hearing me rant, listening to my story. Um, yeah, that was my birthday trip and I turned 27. Oh my god, I'm getting old. <laughs> Not really, but yeah, that was my 27th birthday. So thank you guys so much. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to continue your binge, go ahead and click the video on the end screen. And yeah, I'll catch you guys later.